Welcome to My Life on Paper. I am Brianna. Welcome back to Christy's Beautiful Life from 30 Days of Sketches. Today is sketch, oh my gosh, I'm losing track, 18. Um, I will put that across the screen if I mess that up. Um, today's sketch is by um, Janet Fritz of Galaxy Girls Creations. And you know what? Today is day 19, so I caught myself there. Um, she has wonderful a lot of layers and I went to my Paige Evans and pulled out some papers. This is from Wonders. Um, the other thing I want to mention I'm playing along with is Coast to Coast. Uh, it is a collaboration with a bunch of talented uh, YouTube um, creators and it, we are doing Story by Stacy, which is a close to my heart story cards that are to help you with inspiration. So today we have four cards and you can take with it from it for whatever inspiration you, that that you want. The, co the, the cards are home. At, um, so like it could be childhood home, your yard, your hometown, what have you, first home. The other one is acronym. So like LOL, FOMO, YOLO, things like that. Uh, we have one big photo, and that is why I originally had a, a, a six by four and I made a five by seven. And then we have interactive, which I'm gonna be doing hidden journaling. Um, this is a picture I have, um, I, I last October I joined a gym. So it was a year ago now that I joined a gym. And so one day I just took a picture to document this. This was actually in March. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is this uh, is from, Na I think it's National Photo Lab, and um, I do like them. I don't know that they're worth the price, though. Um, I do like the do matte, and they're not inexpensive. Here is, I just run to Wal Walgreens. I use the 50% off. Um, my daughter has a discount. It was $1.34 for this one photo. Uh, for this five by seven it's glossy but i'm learning to uh, be okay with glossy but look at even the color difference and i can't tell you right now which one is the more truer color um my shoes look truer color in the, in this walgreens photo um this is more of a black this is i mean there's a different shade of black i'll have to pay attention when i go work out to see which one is more true color all right, so enough talking. Um, I I uh, <laughs> pulled out the the just the pieces parts to my Paige Evans. Um, I stuck with the blues and purple. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. Let's get scrapping. So I didn't explain to you. I'm not gonna use the home prompt. And the other thing was I forgot about the acronym prompt. Um, I, ha I have looked it up. Uh, W-O-D means workout of the day. Uh, and maybe I can put that in with my hidden journaling that I haven't done yet. But I did do the big picture and hidden journaling, which I will show you later. So I did, I pulled out these pieces and they're all the blue and the purple. But my issue is they're smaller than what I figured. They're smaller than the layers. And you'll see I pull out a couple new papers, which is fine too. So I use that kind of that sky looking one for the background. I trim down the blue patterned one. And then I'm going to try to make these other ones work. And I do make some of them work. That purple, the purple I wanted to use for a bigger layer. The blue does get used for the littlest layer. I'm not sure. And then I'm trying to you, so you can mess around mess around you can uh trick the eye with certain um pieces of paper when you uh you know if you cut it in half and you tuck up half above and half below but if you look at janet's layers sh you can see all where the cuts would be there's no like hidden part you got a right you got a left you got a top you got a bottom. and just you're not hiding anything now, could you still cut it and piece it together? Yes, but um, I didn't. So I pulled the stripe thinking, well, that's got purple and pink in it, so I like that. 
And then I have this piece of paper, which is kind of a ombre. And so I use the more pink side and less of the like orange red side. And that gets to actually trimmed down even more because I'm kind of like holding it up. How long should it be? I might get out my ruler because that's how I, that's how I roll. <laughs> I should eye it up more, but I like to be precise. So here I trim off a little bit more and then I can trim off the other direction too because it doesn't need to be the 12 inches long. And that's where I figure out how long. And some of this I did just lean off the paper and I figure I'll just trim it. Um, when everything is glued down, I'll trim it off the side. And some of it's going off the right side and some of it's going off the left side. That purple just doesn't, isn't wide enough to make a layer, but it does end up matting my photo. And there's the striped and I end up cutting down the stripe. I'm measuring the pink paper so that I can know to make the striped paper a little bit shorter. And that's the way it works out. And then I want to make sure to use the purple part. Some of the pink gets cut off, but <laughs> I make sure to use the purple part um, on the page that that doesn't get cut off. And there it goes. And that blue piece I am going to use, it's going to be that little piece there. And then I decide my proportions are kind of a little bit off because my photo isn't tall enough. And that's when I decide I'm going to match the photo in the purple to get it a little bit um, closer to the side to the two four by sixes that are on the sketch. And there it is. So then I believe I will start gluing things down with my ATG. And some things go a little wonky, you'll see. Uh, they should be all cut straight. And I have to take extra time to... Oh, one, I guess I forgot a layer. Here comes more blue. This is not my normal layout as far as layers, but I think it's because I do so much monochromatic. It'd be interesting for me to go look at my other um, pages. I think... Um, you know, this this collection, I really like these, this col uh, collection, um, but it's a lot of papers that are really different from each other. So it's kind of out of my box, which is very good for me. And I do really like the way that this uh, layout ends up. So here is where I start to glue things down. Once I get things laid where I want them, I like to just hold them all there and not move anything and just sneak the adhesive under the papers. But like I said, you're going to see some of these layers get a little wonky. But I do my best to try to keep them straight um, and keep them where I had them in the, you know, in the first part. So you can see the stripe down on the bottom and the top, right? The blue just doesn't look like it's, it, the blue looks crooked. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand there. I don't know if it was a goodbye or if it was just me talking to myself. Uh, so I do, here I am going to shimmy it just a little bit and that there, that looks better. So I got my eye on it, got it straightened out. Um, still moving around that light blue piece to get it like the sketch that's I have the so my setup is that my can uh, my phone is above me recording and then oh you guys are going to love this in front of me is my iPad with the sketch and to the left of me I am projecting what's on my phone onto my uh, laptop so that I can tell I'm still in frame so if there's ever time I'm not in frame which does happen uh, it's my own fault because like I said I have my computer off to the side that should tell me I'm in frame so here I clean up my desk. I went to my Cricut and cut out um, Hustle for the Muscle. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to glue that down. I liked it in white because there's so many other colors going on. And I did overlap the photo a little bit, which 
um, the photo has like a kind of a solid background. So I'm okay with that too. And I did not use the circle that Janet has on there just because I'm putting the, the title there. Now I could go back and do W O D for work of, of the day. And I would put that those letters where she has her title next to the, my hidden journaling up there to, to the left of it. Um, and I might just do that yet. I don't know what color I would do it in because I don't know that I would do it in white. And then I'm using my Barely Art glue, which works real well. And I find out how well it works when I try. And I'm like, hmm, that muscle looks a little crooked. And I try to try to straighten it out. And it's already glued down and it's not moving anywhere. These are, pa I, I felt, figured it needed some clusters. These were Paper Studio uh, flower stickers that I had in my stash. So I just pulled those out. It was something nice and easy I didn't even have to think about. Flowers looks good on a workout page. Why not? And I just use different sides of those. There you go. Muscle is not moving. Muscle is strong. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you again soon.